uh, now's the time we start writing some tests okay so let's say uh, in the includes folder I have different classes available uh, in which I have got different methods that I have mentioned okay so let's say we go for um, filter post content this one right here okay so so I have a class over here which I have written for my plugin which is WPC or filter post content and the job of this class is basically to filter the content and add some contributors uh, name uh, names and with IDs uh, just after the post okay so how do I write tests for it so what happens is that if you have created a plugin you need to write the uh, you know test for all of the functions of your plugin so in the for example in this class I have two functions one is construct method and second is uh, the display contributed uh, contributors method so I need to write uh, the test for both of them so we will create separate files for the separate tests for each of these classes and the best way to write it is you will create a new file and we'll say test, say dash, and then we'll name it as uh, the name of the class itself, uh, which is WP CO <coughs> filter post content dot PHP. Okay. So this is a test class basically and I'm just going to copy this test class and paste it there. Okay, uh, and we'll name it, we'll change the name. So we'll name it test and then underscore and then we'll put the name of the class itself. The one we're going to test, which is this one. No, not this one. Um, this one okay we'll put that there so this is our test class inside of this uh, we need to write a function uh, firstly for the construct method so we'll write, write a test method for this one okay so we'll just say copy this and remember we need to prefix it with test we don't have to use double underscore We'll just use single uh, underscore. Okay, and just uh, say that it's assert true just to check this is working. Okay, so we're going to go back, clear the screen, and run PHP unit. And you can see that sure enough, this is working. How do we know it's coming from here? Let's echo out something over here. Echo test. And let's go back run it again and you can see that this is the test this is what we wrote over here and that is what is being echoed out so yes this test is successfully running so that's brilliant and this dot means one test so if there are uh, you know 10 tests that you are running then there will be 10 dots uh, this dot means that the test was successful if there was an error then it'll be e over here okay so let's say if i say false over here we are saying false explicitly and now let's just run php unit you can see that it says fail okay so it is failed is because the assertions value is the failure so test is equal to one so this is the one test we are running and assertion one assertion means this one and the failures is one okay why because we are saying that the value of this is false so this is failing okay brilliant so we're going to write the test now the first thing we need to do is basically this is saying that uh, this is a construct math method okay and we are adding the filter over here uh, to the content the content hook and we are actually hooking our custom function which is this function to this hook so how do we check uh, that this uh, function is being you know hooked to this particular hook how do we how would you know that so I'll tell you that so if you look for a function called has action so WordPress has a function called has action so let's see what it does 
okay so it checks if any action has been registered for a hook so which means that using this function we can find out whether our uh, function has been registered to that hook or not okay so what we're going to do is um, come over here and first thing we're going to do is initialize the class let's get rid of this <clears throat> let's just comment this out i think okay now over here the first thing i'm going to do is let's say we'll take a variable display we'll name it display contributors and we will go ahead and instantiate our class which is this class basically this one <clears throat> so we have instantiated the class because this class will be is instantiated it will automatically call the construct function which will call the add filter and add filter will hook in our custom function okay so which means by this point of the code our hook should have been registered now all we have to do is check if that hook has been registered using has action so you're going to say <coughs> is registered so we'll just create a variable is registered is equal to has action now let's see what does this has action take so has action take the first one is the hook name so what was the hook name let's have a look the hook name is the content so we're going to paste that as the content okay so the second parameter it takes is the function to check but remember that we also need to pass in the this um, object which is uh, created by instantiating the class so we'll just pass it in an array using php7 array syntax to display contributor which is this basically I'm just gonna go like this okay and the next one is the name of the function so what is the name of the function let's have a look this is the name of the function we'll put that there <clears throat> and the next thing we're going to do is we'll see what is returned by the has action so idly has action let's see what does it return so right returns boolean for whether the hook is ready when checking a special function <clears throat> so basically it registered the priority uh, sorry it returns the priority of the hook okay so let's have a look whether it's doing that so echo is registered And we're going to run a test. PHP unit. Notice that I'm in the plugins directory. Okay, as so you can see over here at this point, it's saying 10, which means <clears throat> that uh, that is the priority of my function. If I had put any other priority, it would have returned that. So, which means all we have to do is just check if it's returning 10. If it is, that means our hook has been registered, and, and that's the job of this construct function to to uh, hook in our custom function so what we can do is we can say is registered <clears throat> but this time check a condition and say that is registered is equal to 10 which means if the value is 10 that means that our custom function has been registered to the hook okay and then we're gonna go ahead and this value will be true otherwise it will be false so if our hook is registered it will return 10 and the value of this condition will be true and if I just paste that and if I run the test if this hook has been registered then this will be true and our test will pass let's try that <clears throat> brilliant so congratulations guys you've run the first test you've written the first test successfully and it's saying okay one test one assertion notice that um, for some reason if this doesn't test doesn't pass okay if I say 11 over here if I just change that then that test will fail see it's failed okay so it is checking 
that the value is 10. Okay, great. That's all you have to do. So I think it's brilliant. Uh, we can close uh, this video for up until for the first function we have written and in the next uh, tutorial you're going to learn more about how to uh, you know write tests uh, more complex tests for a function like this which is quite long yeah okay i'll see you then